Alright, so here's the problem that we left off at. I was talking to you about the identity property that you should be using for this problem. <coughs> and also that we're going to be replacing cosine squared theta with 1 minus sine squared theta, um, solving the identity for cosine squared theta. Okay, so I just wanted to erase this because we will not need this anymore. Hopefully I explained it well enough that you don't have any questions on that particular one. Alright, so we are off to the races. So 9 plus 9 sine theta equals 6. Remember we're replacing this with 1 minus sine squared theta. Alright, so um, Again, our goal here is not to, in this situation, um, because we have all these extra things going on here, it's usually best to use U substitution. I don't know if you've done that yet or not. Um, the reasoning being this, there's two reasons. One, you have a sine theta and you have a sine squared theta. Granted, you could like put it together all on one side and, and factor, but that would not be appropriate because um, you have these extra numbers out here. So like if you distributed this, it would be 6 um, minus 6 sine squared theta. It's not really going to help you to do that. Um, and then you'd still have this extra number out here that you would combine that you would combine with the 6, but still it's not going to help you. Um, when factoring, you need to have two terms. So if we brought this over to the other side, we would have three terms. Um, so that is to give you a sign that you need to use U substitution. Um, another thing is, is since you have a squared theta, I mean since you have a sine squared theta and a sine, when you use U substitution, you're going to end up with a quadratic. So let me just, you know, start going through this so that you can see what I'm talking about. Alright, so U substitution means that you're just going to put U in place of sine theta. Now why did I choose sine theta? Well, that's because we have sine theta here and we have sine squared theta there. And we're going to replace it with the letter U. And then at the end, when we go to solve it, we'll replace it back. So basically, it's just saying treat sine theta as a variable. Alright, so now let's do this. So we have 9 plus 9u, because we're replacing sine theta with u. Um, 6 times 1, oops, 1 minus u squared. Okay, so instead of just putting sine you have sine squared, so you have to make it u squared. Alright, so now we're going to want to distribute. So we have 9 plus 9u <coughs> equals 6 minus 6u squared. So I just distributed the 6 through there. Okay, so now what we want to do is we have a quadratic. We have a u squared, we have a u, and then we have a constant. So we're going to bring everything over to one side and solve. So I'm going to add this 6u to the other side, 6u squared to the other side. Um, then I have my 9u, and then I'm going to subtract the 6 to the other side. So that would mean I'd be left with positive 3 over there, and 0 on this side. I hope you get those algebra skills um, without any assistance. If you need more assistance, just let me know. Okay, so now we have this. So, all you're going to do is use the quadratic formula and solve this. Um, I'm sure you know the quadratic formula, but just in case, x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Um, and again, this is your a, this is your b, and this is your c, and you just plug them in and solve. Now, I'm not going to do that because that's a waste of time um, for us to do that. That part I'm assuming you already know how to do. So I'm going to pause and I'm just going to solve it on my calculator because I have a program that solves it. Um, 
so hold on. Okay, so I ended up with u equals negative 0.5 or negative 1 half and u is equal to negative 1. So what is u? Remember u is sine theta. So now you're just going to plug it back in. So you're going to find when sine theta is equal to negative 1 half instead of putting 0.5 and then you're also going to find when sine is negative 1. So again, you're just going to go to your unit square, I mean your unit circle, not square. Um, and you want to know where sine is negative 1 half. So negative 1 half sine, remember sine is the y coordinate, so negative 1 half is 11 pi over 6. Uh, negative one half is seven pi over six, and I believe that's it. So you have eleven pi over six and seven pi over six. You just so we have seven pi over six and eleven pi over six. All right. Oh, sorry. Those go over here but you get the idea. That's when sine is negative one half. So sine is negative one only in one spot. Um, so sine is negative one over here. So that would be three pi over two would be your other answer for this problem. Three pi over two. So now you have three answers. You have this one, 3 pi over 2, 7 pi over 6, and 11 pi over 6. Um, all right, so we're at seven minutes now. So I'm going to go to more problems, but um, we're going to have to pause and um, I'm going to have to actually stop this video and then start another one, but I'm going to give you tip tips for the next problem. Alright, so now if you look at this problem, it's very similar to the next problem. So actually what would be best for you to do is pause this video. Um, actually you could just stop this video because I'm going to end it anyway. Solve this problem on your own using the same method that I did in the previous problem. And then I'm going to review this with you um, in the next video. Okay? So, uh, that's it for now. We'll, we'll go through this problem in the next video. Alright, thanks.